an electric unicycle beat a bus to UBC? Harold's gonna deliver this by the R4 rapid bus to the bus loop. Our mission is to deliver our San Pellegrino to the UBC bus loop. So you know that new TransLink rapid bus that runs from Joyce all the way to UBC, right? It was the one that was featured in this race by CBC. It was between the rapid bus and a car from Joyce all the way to the UBC bus loop. When they finally got there, the reporter that took the bus actually won and then completely rubbed it in the other guy's face. We had parking problems. We clearly got here ahead of time. Oh, that, that's interesting because I just got off the bus and there was no one here from CBC. So I think it, that's a victory for the rapid line. Yes, Justin, that is a major L. The bus should win and it is more sustainable. But what if I told you that there was a faster and even more sustainable way? On a sunny weekend like this, during non-peak hours, the bus usually takes 52 minutes to get from Joyce all the way to UBC bus loop. That's 20 kilometers for bikes. So we're gonna try and deliver this. Uh, one team, hey yo, look at that. <laughs> Harold's gonna deliver this by the R4 rapid bus to the bus loop. Our mission is to deliver our San Pellegrino to the UBC bus loop. All right, it's about time to go. We're gonna start together right. and see if we finish together. to a glorious start here on this beautiful sunny day, a rare occasion here in Vancouver, BC, where it rains 90% of the time. Uh, for the folks sitting at home, you can see that the EUC and the bus on the map rounding out of Joyce Collingwood Station. We see that the EUC takes the lead as it goes out of the sidewalk onto the bike lane. It's looking at the bottom right corner, the EUC has just been overtaken by the bus, which is to be expected by a bus that can go 100 kilometers an hour. But as it rounds up into Clarendon, the EUC actually takes the lead back. Whipped by this Chinese supermarket on Earl's hand signal. Safety first. Yeah, it's to be expected. We pass a lot of cyclists here on the road. With the top speed of a typical cyclist going at 30 kilometers an hour at peak, a typical EUC like ours can maintain that 30 kilometer, 40 kilometer, 50 kilometer speed without breaking a sweat. Well, so far the EUC team and the bus have been making steady progress all the way to UBC, with the EUC team taking that lead and maintaining it all the way through. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, on a sunny day, I'd much rather be breathing in the fresh air, cool breeze, feels just like yesterday. Now both teams have made it all the way to Oak here on that Petrocan and then the UC team on 37th Van Dusen Botanical Gardens next to Eric Hamburg. Coming down the street, inner back roads, less traffic. EUC has taken the lead here, maintained it all the way by a block. Super grateful for these bike routes, otherwise we would have to deal with stuff like this. <laughs> I thought this was Vancouver, not Richmond. Anyway, coming through, EUC has taken the lead, maintained it all the way. Coming up on Carousel Arbutus Street. In the corner on the right side, you see Magic Box Hobbies. This neighborhood I spent a lot of time in when I was learning piano. <music> 
Now this might seem super cool, super fun to ride, but it did take me a while to be able to ride like this. This is me at six months. If you want to see that progress video from day one, the unboxing, all the way till now, give us a like and a subscribe. We'll have that video out shortly. Meanwhile, the bus has pulled up alongside the McDonald's here at Carisdale. A lot of these local shops have been around here for a long, long time. Carnarvon Street and fond memories of Cobb's bread, spinach and feta cheese, so delicious. Now this is where things get a little exciting as we come up onto the highway that will lead us to the finish line at the UBC bus loop. Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing this ridiculous pink bag from Fudora. We weren't sponsored by Fedora, but we're open to opportunities. So Fedora, call me. Then all of a sudden out of nowhere, this guy decides to take a left. Hey, man, what's he doing? <laughs> hey, man, this guy decided to just take a break like the tortoise is the hare, man. <laughs> And with that flashy move from the EUC team, it may have cost them the title of the fastest mode of transportation from Joyce all the way to UBC Bus Loop. I have a feeling that cyclists don't like us very much. You know, that's good for the body, you know, cycling. Now back to the race here, the bus is taking it up to 16th Avenue in front of the UBC roundabout to pick up some passengers. The EUC team not far behind near Westbrook Village here coming up through these beautiful neighborhoods. Lots of people lined up to go on buses to take them where they need to go uh, this beautiful sunny day. And what is this? Isn't this the UBC roundabout where the bus is supposed to be? It seems like the EUC team has taken the lead back. As you can see, out of the corner here, you will see that big, ridiculous pink bag that I wore just for this occasion. Hey, if you're a good road user, make sure to hit subscribe, ring that bell button. Let's go. At this point of the race, both the bus and the EUC team are making major headway down Westbrook Mall. We are literally minutes away from the finish line at the UBC bus loop. On your left, the award-winning pharmacy building. On your right, the Sigma Chi frat house. Love those guys. Moment of truth. Looks like the bus is lagging behind on Agronomy Road. And if you're looking at these pixels like I am, you will see that the EUC team is making their way to a smooth victory. I don't know what else to say. If you want something delivered faster than a bus, faster than a car, faster than a bicycle, then this might be the option. Yo, that's the one, bro. stop at Canby Street that took like five minutes. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, so yeah, it's could have been when you think about it. It's not bad. We did still beat it though. Now we gotta race to the class. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, because realistically this gets you here. It doesn't get you to the class, right? Yeah. Okay. It gets you right into your seat. Alright. You gotta do the walking one bro, but you walk up to <laughs> no, 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 no. Alright. I think that bit is busted man.
Yeah, let's go on some grass. Whoa! Oh. Oh. I've learned a few things about this. Uh... Nice. But I'm telling you, if you ride this thing, everybody is just delighted to see you. I mean, you don't even need to rent a van to give candy to strangers. I ride this thing everywhere now. If I didn't have to use my two feet to balance on this thing, I, I don't even know what I'd use them for. Dude, I'm so lazy, I don't even walk to the car anymore. I ride this to the car and put it in the truck. Look what we have here. King Song 16S, 14S, 18L. Where's the 18XL? Is this even the 18XL, bro? Do you fuck? Ah, my pants here. 